Jeremy Clarkson has been left in fits of rage after the UK suffered from further rain that led to flash flooding. Who wants to be a millionaire? Presenter Jeremy Clarkson is no stranger when it comes to saying what is really on his mind and his latest social media outburst is no different. Like many, Jeremy has been left frustrated after Brits saw temperatures plummet and faced sudden downpours. The 61-year-old recently opened up about his new career as a farmer, revealing on his Amazon Prime video show, Clarkson's Farm that he hadn't performed as well as he had wanted to. In the season finale of Clarkson's Farm, it was revealed that Jeremy had made just £144 in his first year of the business, after deducting eye-watering costs from his profits. Following a report from The Times, it was revealed last year had been the worst year for farmers since 1976, due to changes in the weather and the ongoing pandemic. However, while the UK has axed the coronavirus lockdown restrictions and recently saw temperatures reach 30 degrees, Jeremy is still suffering. Last week saw sudden downpours and flooding parts of the south of England, with more rain yet to come. This is something that appears to have angered Jeremy, who has taken to Twitter to share his frustrations. In view of his 7.3 million Twitter followers, he wrote, This s asterisk asterisk t weather is annoying. But imagine that you're a farmer. Jeremy's fans soon took to the replies section to offer their support to the Doncaster-born broadcaster. Your series highlights the trials of being a farmer and the constant battle with the elements to make a living. Good on you, said one. While a second added, having seen your last series I've a newfound understanding of what they and you have to go through. Seems tough and no thanks. In the past I wouldn't have given farmers and the weather a second thought. But Clarkson's farm opened my eyes a bit. Hope the weather gets better for all of them, sick, said a third. During a tense season finale conversation with his land agent Charlie Ireland, Jeremy admitted that financial woes were not something concerning him for the time being. Charlie said, it hasn't been a great year for farming, generally. I read in the Times that it's been the worst year for farmers since 1976. He added, last year, we made £226,000 from crop sales, that's before any costs and this year's £137,000, so £90,000 lower from the same area. While discussing the costs from Diddley Squat Farm, it was revealed Jeremy had spent £14,000 on seeds, £34,000 on fertilizer and £20,000 on sprays, with a grand total spending of £68,601. And then there's £68,457 of costs, said Charlie. He went on to inform Jeremy, so you've made £144 profit from the arable farm.
Responding to the shocking discovery, Jeremy said, Fortunately, we have this subsidy, when that goes, what are farmers going to do?